Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. I have here on my table quite the spread, as you can see. This is a gypsy rose spread. People are complaining that she's trying to milk her infamy uh, by wanting to assign special actors and actresses to her next uh, rendition of her life where they're saying it's already been done they did it good we don't need to hear anymore I did get the devil card in the last spread that she'd be confronted with her materialism that she would get offers she needs to be careful of what she's choosing but I also did say she had a very dark side <clears throat> by using an autistic male to get his hands dirty and keep hers clean I was gonna be gentle with her I was gentle with her but I decided to throw some more cards based on her still pumping out uh, media spins on her wishes and dreams of having these gorgeous actresses pretend to be her, which is a far cry in terms of facial structure and bone structure. I was just putting it uh, in the most kind way I can. Basically, it was a Barbie dream version of herself. Uh, so that just shows the egomaniacal type of energy there. I do think she does have mental illness. And how could she not from the suffering? And I did state that I think she most likely, entertainment allegedly, my opinion, due to the suffering, she's probably a sociopath. <clears throat> Try to say it as nicely as possible. But that's what happens when you've been tortured and abused. It, it That's the way it can manifest. So this is a spread on her trying to continue to get public attention from the crime she committed and profit from it. So this is what I wanted to share, and I decided why not just show what I have, and then I can go a little deeper. So I'm just going to read these cards to you because there's a lot on the table with a lot of clarifications. This is what I do on a private level here. I will stack and stack and keep going. So I'm going to have to carefully move those and show you what I got. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to move these here and put that there. Take those and put that there those and put that there and so then I can read it coming from that angle there we go so starting out <clears throat> in terms of her wanting fame she wants to take a risk yes she wants people to take a risk on her she wants that new path please do it improvise improvise for the future uh, she just wants she wants that freedom it's that I you know taking a chance having faith so she would love lots of opportunities she would love to just jump off that cliff and have her just beginner's luck. It's like a beginner's luck for her because she's been locked up so long. Plus, she was young. So this is like new freedom position here with the full. Just, I'm free. I'm out. Look at me. You know, that's, this kind of gives me the feeling of the Titanic. You know, hanging off the Titanic with your arms out. Stretch. This is like total freedom fighter here. Challenging position has come off as... Uh, you know, someone who's healed, healed and gives off positive emotional messages and that self-love is there. So that's the challenge for her that she's sensitive and idolistic. I want to be seen as that idolistic, perfect daughter. So she wants to be seen as that per perfect, idolistic daughter. Unfortunately, she's not. We got here the magician in reverse. She's a manipulator. It's the con fraud position. She manipulates other people. And she knows here she should have let go of the situation, but she didn't. It is the hangman. It is let go. She should have let it go. She should have actually let herself go instead of committing a major crime and getting someone else to help her do it. You know, stepping in in place of the law. She could have spoken up. She could have handled it completely different, but she manipulated a situation. She manipulated the life of another person, the seed of life, with the Ace of Pentacles. And she did it with confidence. By, with the Ace of Swords, cutting out. She cut them out. Uh, she would not speak about it. It was very unknowable purposes, and it lacked logic. And it, basically, she had high stress. So she lied. It's also clouded judgment. But she manipulated this clouded judgment on the seed of life trying to appear the most idolistic and perfect to get her freedom. She should have held back and said, maybe, but she didn't. She should have done something else. And she's going to kind of lie about some of the facts. She's going to manipulate and lie about some, some things here. Feelings in the situation is basically, uh, 
this here is it's the end of the adventure she's playing victim martyr completely she wants the attention seeking but the game is up she's gonna hold on to the past with some denial so she is gonna hold back and do some lying uh she needs to find courage to carry on but it is over prison's over with but she still has this victim martyr mindset of course she was a victim but she also did some damage too Going with this, the outside influences, she doesn't really have much of a conscience. She's not crying over what she's done. She could care less. Uh, with the Nine of Swords in reverse is lack of conscience. It's heal or relapse, taking a step back with no tears. So basically, negative completion. It's a negative completion. A lot of people are going to tell her no because she cut out a life. She cut out a seed of life here. A lot of people are not going to be interested in her. The hopes and fears is she wants to be seen, once again, as an idolistic person with a high priestess. Just like with this, she wants to be seen as perfect. So she wants to be seen as the perfect victim here. <clears throat> so she wants to be seen as perfect and spiritually connected. The final outcome I got was the moon card. She's mentally sick. She's got mental illness. She's putting out some false impressions. She's a bit divorced from reality. And she's using all previous experiences as a tool. She hopes that people will mirror her idolistic energy. I was perfect. I, I did absolutely nothing wrong. She doesn't trust other people and she will po focus on the past. The moon energy focuses on the past uh, so they can get the false impressions, get the mirroring, get people into the deception and the fantasy. So she's really got this rigid follower type of mindset of fantasy. Uh, she doesn't trust other people. But she wants people to buy into whatever she's selling, which is manipulation, some lies, and denial. Wanting to be a, viewed as the absolute perfect daughter. But we have here flanking the moon card. What I have here, she made the wrong move. She made the wrong move with the future faking. And so she did. She was able to future fake her mother. She made the wrong move. Things are not likely to improve for her. Uh, success isn't necessarily going to uh, happen so she's gonna have to go back to some old plans the old plan would be more gaslighting so she does tend to gaslight and lie not too many people are going to want to collaborate with her with the three of wands in reverse because they're not people are thinking well i don't know if i trust her so there is a lack of trust people see her she's got to suffer from a severe mental illness from the splitting that psychosis the future faking uh, making the wrong moves, so she's likely to make the wrong move again. People don't trust her. There's a lack of trust here. Highlighting the moon card is definitely uh, does not know where she's going. She's lost herself with the hermit in reverse. She's not taking therapist advice. She's ignoring therapist advice. She will not follow therapist advice. She's missing life lessons with the hermit in reverse. Very dark path. She has no idea what she's doing with her life. She doesn't know where it's going, where it's leading. Very severe panic, panic and anxiety, loneliness, extreme loneliness. She realizes that with this next to it, that basically she had a very uh, toxic childhood with the Six of Cups in reverse, a very negative, unhappy memories, very bad childhood. That is true, which was very lonely, isolating and failed at learning life's lessons because she basically lost touch with her inner self, her inner child. So she doesn't have her inner child basically in her because it was so toxic. Um, she basically lost it with these. She doesn't, she's basically, as far as I'm concerned, it's a, it's arrested development and losing touch with that inner child and not feeling that there's any loyalty out there. She's very panicky. So that puts her into that panicky, psychotic, splitting divorce from reality mental illness she's the wounded warrior too she's wounded over what are my options she's wounded will i ever have options uh very bothered uh she's just gonna have to keep her walls up she needs to keep her walls up she will try to hold back from others there's a lot of enemies out there and she's going to be very guarded about her options she knows not everybody's on her team she knows there are people talking about her. People are going to be guarded around her. So she's wounded. She didn't have a good childhood. She's very isolated and alone. She psych goes into psychosis and disassociates when she's extremely lonely and with this negative memories and burdens. 
she checks out. She disassociates, goes into this divorce from reality, psychotic mind and dreams of her fantasy and options of what she can achieve, which is divorce from reality too. That is not reality. Hoping things, the ships will come in and give her her fantasy, but it's all based on mental illness. Then I got here. She wants to be a star. She wants to be a star, but she's roadblocked. She wants to be the star of her own show, but they're not going to let her do it. This is why she's fantasizing about someone else being her, but she fantasizes about it. She's going to have to let it go, and she's hoping that people will forgive her and accept her and that she can heal from the bereavement and the issue she created. Not everything can be fixed, but she's hoping to be forgiven. So basically, this is not having regret for what she did because upright is feeling regretful, but she is wounded. She doesn't regret it, but she's wounded. In terms of not being accepted in most groups and organizations, and most people will not welcome them in, her, in their homes. She knows it. She's an unwelcome person. She's going to try and look as though she is calm, temperate, and balanced, and can avoid extremes because most people don't want her. They're not going to be loyal to her based off of this. She's just basically with the six in reverse. They're going to see her as superficial, insubordination. They're not going to give her the balance of harmony, the opportunities because they're going to view her as being too, a little too toxic. But she's going to play the game of being uh, patient and taking the middle ground and can't control other people. But really, she's feeling quite defeated. Defeated in the situation. How can I heal it? I'm going to plan something for myself. Her plan is to play the damsel in distress with the Queen of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Cups in reverse is an emotional manipulator. She needs therapy still. She has not been responding too well to therapy. Necessarily, she will not take advice. So she did lose out on life lessons. She's got this arrested development. She thinks she can heal it, pray, meditate, but really she's playing damsel in distress. She's using her emotions to get what she wants in essence. Queen of Cups in reverse totally uses her emotions, very self-focused on her emotions. Queen of Cups in reverse is the kind of card where in some decks you will see the Queen of Cups staring at herself in the mirror. So she's hyper-focused on her needs and get my needs met, which is very sociopathic defeated i need my needs met i'm playing damsel in distress here so that someone will come along and help me heal uh it is also a planning it's planning planning uh it's also about healing it's also about regeneration and aiming to quiet her mind so when she plays damsel in distress someone needs to help me i'm so defeated it's sort of a sense of calming energy to her because she does suffer from arrested development and mental illness because she had such a toxic childhood. But she's learning to try and be balanced. But her high emotions and her neediness is to, to fix her. So she's using other people. She wants to use celebrity and using all these fantasy and dreams to make her feel balanced, calm, and angelic. And now everything's fair. All's fair and well now at this point in time. And make, make her look like the angel in the situation. She can glow up looking like the angel, the angel of wisdom, the angel in the whole story. So it's that war of innocence here. Even though she manipulated an autistic guy to murder someone. Then we have here, as far as her ship's not coming in, nothing's coming in for her. So she might realize, okay, that might be the wrong move. Everyone's uncooperative. My success isn't coming. That's going to kind of fail. No one wants to collaborate with me. So I'm going to manipulate them. I'm going to try to get them into my, my moon energy of share, shared fantasy that I'm idealistic to glow me up and I will appear as though I'm calm, balanced and avoid extremes. If I can get them to believe it, then I can make money with the nine of pentacles in reverse. Nine of pentacles is a card that's focused on money and independence. She's not independent. She's dependent on her current husband and family situation and she needs money. There's a lot of money needed. She's making poor judgments. She's envious of money. She does not have stable finances like she would like. She wants to get rich. She wants the materialism. So this is what I was saying the last time. She's very focused on materialism. She's going to be confronted with her materialism is what I said. But really, she has a high risk of becoming another toxic contagion 
where she actually can self-destruct herself out of envy and greed of money. So she's running into this envy and greed of money and she's making the wrong maneuvers. People are not going to view her the way she wants, which is idolistic, idolistic, star me up. I'm an angel of balance while denying her, her, her participation and how it came about. So she is going to lie and do everything she can to get the materialism. She's hyper-focused on, on, on money, people, obsessions, control other people to get what she wants to finance her new independence, which is her new independence is right here. She's free. She's free and clear. So she really is hyper-focused on this whole image, and she wants to bleach and purify herself with the sun. She wants profound happiness. She wants to glow up. She wants to glow up, and she wants to appear completely innocent and pure. She does want joy and happiness, but I think the only way she can feel joy and happiness is if she can control, get the money, because she's very envious. She's trying to associate herself and put out actresses of who should play her. So she's already trying to control how much money sh th th should go into it, who gets to play, who gets to, to make her ships come in and make it look good, to glow her up, seed and purify herself and control the whole situation because she wants to end up being the independent one who's very self-sufficient, who can handle issues, uh, getting all her investments coming in. She wants her investments to come in, but they're not coming in. They're not coming in. She's going to be focused on the money and bleaching and purifying herself. But there is this very dark side to her, you guys. And she learned how to manipulate and lie, disassociate because she was tortured physically. When a child is tortured physically, their bodies disassociate. They check. They mentally check out to protect the brain. And this has not stopped. She's still going to keep doing it because she's got she's got this and it's for life. It's hardwired. So she's got a very dark side. So anyways, there you have it. So that's just a backup read on what I had to say from the first read. I did get the devil in it in the future, but I was very gentle in how I worded it. I did say that she had to be careful of her of her uh, confronting materialism issues. And she really is flying high with it, you guys. Uh, with the recent uh, types of posts and things I'm seeing, she's really gunning for it right now. She's really gunning for it. Time is of the essence. Uh, she just got out. It's almost like she knows that the time frame is limited and she wants to milk it for all it's worth. Where a lot of people are saying, why give her the stage? Why give her the attention? We know what she did. She needs to go live in the shadows. She does not want to live in the shadows because I had that sun card upright. To live in the shadows and go live a quiet life does not serve her. She wants the money. She wants the attention. She wants people to look at her. She wants to glow up. She does not want to go live in the shadows and live a quiet life. She wants money. She wants fame. And she wants everyone to look at her and agree with her in order to heal, bleach, and purify what she's done. So anyways, and that other great things can come her way. That's what would make her happy. And that's kind of a dark, malignant, cluster B type of personality. So yes, she is negatively affected from her childhood. I still call it, I think, my opinion, she's a sociopath. And still a dangerous person, actually. And this guy, whoever she's married to, needs to be careful of her because she is capable she might be putting up a nice public persona. Uh, what happened to her wasn't her fault, but this is the this is the the tragic side effects of what happens to a child when they've been abused, um, and they go dark. Uh, she can wear a social mask of goodness, but underneath it is nothing but devil energy, and she may end up self destructing herself with her own uh, greedy materialism and her hedonism and trying to control other people. Very much like what her mother was doing to her, she's now trying to do to the public, just like she did with the boy that murdered for her. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.